Hello everyone, Kathy here. Welcome to my channel, Yoga by Kathy. So today we're going back to our building blocks with Surya Namaskar or Sun Salutation Beast. So this builds on the first Sun Salutation practice we did. I'll link that video above if you'd like to check it out. This one adds a little bit more heat, a little bit more power to our lower body, to our hips, and we will work on breaking down each of the individual postures, adding some explanations and alignment so you can practice safely. This is a great way to prepare your body for vinyasa flows or other practices where you are integrating movement and having more fluidity in your practice. So when you're ready, let's get started meeting at the top of our mats. And remember, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, click on the subscribe button and hit that notification bell to receive weekly yoga videos. All right, so we're going to begin by coming to the top of our mats, bring their big toes together, heels slightly apart, so standing nice and tall to prepare in mountain pose. Let's take our hands, placing the palms forward, give ourselves a big shoulder roll to open up through the chest. So Sun Salutation B, or Surya Namaskar B, builds on the first Sun Salutation that we practice, and it adds a little bit more heat to the lower body. So we're going to begin by taking the hips back, Bring a bend to your knees like you're sitting in an invisible chair, hugging the knees close together towards the center. Now, if this doesn't feel good for the hips or the joints, you can walk your feet a little bit further apart, keep the feet parallel, knees pointing forward. So try to squeeze, activate the inner thighs and the quads to bring the knees towards center towards each other. If it's okay, you can slowly bring the feet in close together and eventually big toes will touch. So our weight is pulling back towards the hips towards the heels and we don't want to be dropping our weight forward into the toes that can cause extra strain on the shins so we want to make sure our weight is pulling backwards almost like you're lifting all the toes off the ground so this is a good test to see if you can bring your weight back peeling all of your toes off the floor sending the weight into your hips into the heels so this is where we want our hips to be. So hips pulling back, knees ideally behind the toes to get the weight pulling backwards, but it's okay if your knees are a little bit more in front as long as the majority of the weight is falling back towards the heels. Now our body, so our chest is lifted. We wanna maintain a slight curve to the mid back, keeping our collarbones broadened, chest lifts, gaze forward. Now our arms are gonna sweep it up in front, reaching the fingers actively towards the front of your mat keep the gaze forward you want to relax the shoulders finding extension through our elbows so rather than hugging the shoulders all the way up towards our ears we're going to have to pull the shoulders back and down neck stays long extend through your elbows through your wrists through the fingers now if you can we're going to bring the palms together in front of our gaze this requires a little bit more shoulder flexibility but if you can, go ahead and reach the hands up, gaze towards your big thumb. So this is our starting position, chair pose. From here, we're gonna slowly extend through our knees, diving down into a forward fold. We're gonna give our feet a little pedal, lifting the heels up, pressing them down, dropping the chest towards our thighs. Now we're going to keep our knees bent here, allowing your torso to rest over the thighs, grabbing for opposite elbows, take a moment, breathing here, swing your hips side to side. So notice that my hips are lifting up high, and this is gently stretching into the back of my legs, into the hamstrings. My head is dropping forward, chin is coming towards the chest, looking towards your shin or your knees, slowly we're going to try and extend through our knees and eventually our legs will straighten. This is not uh, mandatory, but over time with practice, we're going to find more flexibility and length in the back of our hamstrings to allow us to take our knees from bent to extended. Now let's drop the hands down onto the floor, onto our shins to get inhale, coming to your halfway lift. So pressing to extend through the elbows, we're going to lift the chest, take the head forward, keeping the gaze down. So we want to find that neutral spine. So if you look from the side, we should look like our back is nice and flat and can balance a cup or a book over your back. 
taking a breath here to find length in the body shoulders are still relaxed pulling down away from the ears gazes towards the floor so your hands can stay on your shins and again knees can be slightly bent if you can reach forward bring your hands down towards the floor finding that halfway lift lifting up through the chest gently pull the belly button in so find a little bit of suction through the abdominals to lift up and exhale we're going to bow down taking the hands to the floor let's step back so walk your feet back one at a time into a high plank so in our high plank we want to make sure that our joints are aligned to keep the weight distribution safely over our wrists so our shoulder elbow wrists are aligned fingers pointing forward index and middle fingers towards the front edge of our mat our feet are active so our heels are actually pressing back towards the back wall knees are lifted one more breath we're going to bring knees down into our low plank or chaturanga dandasana prep if you like more detail and more tutorial on how to practice this posture i will leave a link above to that tutorial session so from our knees we're going to shift forward so shoulders will pass the wrists as we exhale bending through the elbows keep the gaze looking forward hugging the elbows in towards your chest as you lower yourself all the way down onto the ground we're going to uncurl the toes pressing into our hands take an inhale keep the toes pressing down to the floor using your back muscles squeeze pull the shoulders back lifting up through the chest baby cobra elbows are hugging in chest stays lifted exhale we lower back down curl the toes lift the knees lift the hips let's come back into a downward facing dog so in our downward facing dogs the hips are lifting up our heels can be off the floor so again this depends on your hamstrings and your calf flexibility so we want to keep our knees bent to start and you can pedal out the feet so drop one heel down towards the ground and alternate switching side to side and just get a sense of how that feels as you drop the heel down towards the ground and eventually one day both heels will slowly touch down to the mat our fingers are spread index and middle fingers are pointing forward so bring the weight from your palms taking some of the weight out of your wrist into the fingers so actively grip down through your fingertips and press down into all 10 digits here's where we are transitioning into something different from our sun salutation a we're going to take the right foot up look forward bring that foot all the way to the top of the mat plant the foot down warrior one prep our back foot is going to turn on an angle onto a 45 ground the back heel down we're going to press up find our balance inhale bending through the front knee reaching up bouncing a few times allow the front knee to come forward knee comes directly over the ankle with our hands we're going to take a hold of our hips drawing the right hip back left hip forward bouncing a few times squaring up the hips continue to press into the back edge of that left foot staying stable sweeping the arms up reaching the hands towards the sky palms can come together again notice how your shoulder is doing right now if we're really tight in the shoulders we're going to keep our hands apart relax the shoulders down extend through your elbows through your wrists up to your fingers reaching up hands may come together or stay apart and with the exhale we take our hands down bring the hands circling the front foot step back we land in our high plank so we're gonna bring the knees down again look forward shift your weight forward shoulders past the wrist engage your core as we exhale bend the elbows lower chest down towards the ground uncurl the toes inhale coming up baby cobra press into the hand lift the chest through find the back bend squeeze your shoulder blades together and exhale downward facing dog shift the hips side to side drop the heels drop the chest we're going to step the left foot forward to prepare for warrior one so bring that left foot forward in between the hands top of the mat dropping the right foot down onto a 45 degree angle so heel in toes pointing out find your balance we're gonna inhale rising up bounce a few times into your hips front knee over the ankle 
Now we're going to square our hips, draw the right hip forward this time, pulling the left hip back. Inhale, sweeping the arms up, press the hands together, relax the shoulders, reaching up through the fingertips. Or we take our hands slightly apart, give our shoulders a little break, looking up towards your fingers. Continue to bend through your front knee. And exhale, taking the hands down to the floor. We'll step back, moving through our flow or vinyasa from your knees or toes. We're gonna look forward, shift forward, bend the elbow, keeping them close to your ribs as you lower down. Uncurl the toes. Inhale, cobra or upper facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. From our downward facing dog, we're gonna look forward to the top of the mat, walk the feet through. As you arrive, we're gonna take an inhale, finding our halfway lift again. So hands on the floor, onto the shin, keep your knees bent if your hamstrings are still feeling a little bit tight. Looking for neutral spine. Exhale, we bow and fold. Preparing for our chair pose, so plant your feet down to the ground, nice and sturdy. Bending the knees, dropping the hips. We're gonna lift up, reaching the hands either together or slightly apart, depending on your shoulder flexibility. So see we have a slight bend through the mid back, chest stays lifted, weight is pulling back into the hips. We're gonna peel the toes off the ground for a little bit extra challenge. And slowly release onto your feet, straighten the knees, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right, let's put that together and we'll do both sides a little bit faster this time, trying to connect our breath to the movement. So on the inhale, we take our arms up, bend the knees, hands either pressed together or slightly apart, coming to chair pose. Weight pulling back into the hips, into the heels. Exhale, we swan dive forward all the way down. Inhale to the halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, we step back into our high plank. From our knees or toes, we're going to lower down halfway by shifting forward, shoulders past the wrist. Exhaling, bending the elbows halfway. Inhale, back bend of your choice. Into cobra or upper facing dog. Keep the chest lifted, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, downward facing dog. Find that inverted V shape. Right foot will step forward in between the hands, warrior one. Left foot pivots onto a 45 degree angle. Nice, long stride in your feet. Inhale, bend through your front knee. Raise the arms. And exhale, take the hands back down to the ground. Step it back. Knees or toes, exhale, we lower. Uncurl, inhale, cobra or upper facing dog. Exhale, downward facing. Left side, warrior one, left foot to the top of the mat. Drop the back foot down. Finding balance, inhale, you rise, bend into your front knee. Try to square your hips to the front, so drawing that right hip forward, left hip back. Gaze towards fingertips. Exhale, taking the hands down, step it back. From your knees or toes, we lower down halfway, elbows squeezed in. Rolling of the toes, cobra or upper facing dog. Exhale, downward facing. Gaze towards the front. Step or walk your feet through to the top of the mat. Breathing in, look forward. Halfway, hands on floor or your shins. Exhale to fold. Bending the knees as much as you need. Pressing down into your feet, bend the knee, hips back. Weight in the heels, gaze up towards your fingers, palms pressed together or apart. And we release, inhale, hands together. Exhale, hands to heart center. Thank you so much for practicing with me in this tutorial for Sun Salutation B, Surya Namaskar B. This is a really great foundational practice for you to work on to build strength and stamina. And once you get a hang of this, a lot of the flow and vinyasa classes will become a lot easier. Thank you so much for practicing with me. And if you have any questions, please leave me a message in the comment section below. Remember to give a like to this video and click on the subscribe button to receive future weekly videos. Thank you and namaste.